much for you. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. Go fight another day. Don't worry about it. They stopped it. Thank you. And I got to tell you, uh, McJoe's brother, McWilliams, had a big say in the corner right there about stopping that fight. He was doing most of the talking. He was looking out for his brother, and he made the right move, and I think the corner made the right move. It was a great decision. Yeah, it was a great decision because I didn't, I didn't see where he was getting hurt, but he obviously was feeling the punches. Yeah, he was and falling all over the place. There and, you know, it looks, it Louis looks like he's getting is punched, but Louis, he's Louis is powerful. But if you look at his face, it's yeah, small. His, his it's face now 29 it. and 0 yeah, really did. Uh, you can with see 23 the KOs. Devastating. I'm Tea Street Controversy. This is Tea Street Controversy Live. It is. He's just one of those guys. 10, 10 p.m. Eastern those, Standard you know, Time. I got to watch that. When you hit, March when you the 16th, 2019. So Luis Derry remains unbeaten. 29 and 0. Wins his first. Professional bout in the United States. To the ring for the decision, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Let's listen in. We're going to talk about the fight. We're going to talk about the 118-pound division. And, the time of and obviously, what's next for uh, Louis Neary? Number five, a referee in charge. Lawrence Cole stops the contest upon suggestion of the corner. Jim Lampley can't stand by Lawrence Cole. Way of technical knockout. Successful in Lawrence his Cole would have had that dude get killed in there. And still undefeated, Luis Pantera Neri. So apparently it was um, McWilliams Arroyo. McJoe and McWilliams are brothers. I'm sure you've seen McWilliams the ring, before. Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. Oh, let's listen in. Congratulations to you. No better way to introduce yourself to the U.S. audience than doing it right here in Dallas Cowboys Stadium with a finish like that. Terminaste aquí muy bien en tu primera First fight here in the States. Estados Unidos, ¿cómo te sientes? Eh, bien, me siento muy contento de, de empezar con el pie derecho, la verdad. Este Arroyo es un, un gran rival, es un peleador duro, pero gracias a Dios nuestra preparación nos sacó adelante. I'm happy to start with the right foot here in uh, the United States. Uh, Arroyo was a great competitor, but uh, we had the best tonight. Four total knockdowns. Joe Goosen called you the next Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is in the house watching your fight. Thoughts on that? Cuatro knockdowns. Yeah, Pacquiao's ringside. Manny Pacquiao está aquí. Y Joe Goosen, nuestro comentarista, dice que tú vas a ser el próximo Manny Pacquiao. Gracias, gracias. Me siento muy contento y pues a entrenar muy duro para para que se haga realidad eso y pues. That's crazy if Pacquiao fights Spence. If Spence wins, if Mikey Garcia wins, then it's probably going to be a rematch. But I. And even happier that he is here to see me fight. Pretty special. I know you want to get your belt back. Is that what's next? Eso es lo próximo. Conseguir tu cinturón otra vez. Así es. Este a seguir entrenando para la siguiente pelea. Creo que es como. Here's who has his belt. Algo así por el por el título de por el campeonato mundial. He beat uh, Rasheed Warren, Northern Mobali. Train hard, and hopefully by June we'll have the belt back. Excellent. Congratulations on a great win here at AT&T Stadium. For that vacant Kenny, WBC title, 15 and 0 with 11 right, KOs. Much, it's going to be so a very Luis good fight. Even though I do have Neri winning. 29 and 0. Let's see if we can give you some career. brief, brief highlights. And Just brief, because sometimes Neri they get a little weird with, nice with these. Um, Puts him down to the ground. With goddamn fair use, could be acting crazy. And here he comes with another onslaught of punches. Catches don't him don't let those don't let this. Chin. It look a little sloppy right there, but don't let it don't let it fool you. Neri is nice. Another knockdown. Good body punching by Neri to set up this onslaught and combination to knock down Arrero. Yeah, he just was outmatched, Arroyo outgunned. Couldn't take the punches. Couldn't take the power. Couldn't take the pressure. And here's Neri with the body punches Completely again. outgunned. And this is how it ends. So far, I've been happy with the pay-per-view, mostly because the fights are ended in knockouts. Um, Charles Royal Martin beat um, um, Corbin the on the FS1 card. Oh, Chris Ariola stopped, what was it, DQ for the, um, yeah. for the uh, Charles Martin fight. You know, Arroyo, you know, has, you know, has. All right, they've been fucking up with the commentary. Um, let's talk about the 118-pound division. Here's Louis Neary right here. He is the mandatory for Norton Obali, so they'll likely be fighting as these, as he said, in the um, in the um, summer. That's when he wants it. Then you have Nonito Denaire and Noye 
Emmanuel Rodriguez and Zelani Tite in the World Boxing Super Series tournament, a, a tournament that I'm going to be covering in full detail. And the winner will come out a unified champion with all four of those belts and that WBA being unified. And then it would make perfect sense for the winner of that, especially since... Um, since um, Richard Schaefer has ties with the World Boxing Super Series, most notably Nonito Denaire, then Luis Neri, if he beats Norton O'Bali, then sometime this year, no, next year, likely, next year, by the summer, before the summer, hopefully, there should be an undisputed champion at 118 pounds. Okay? Now, right now, the monster in his, in his division, in the division, and his alias um, and no, yeah, he's, you know, that's the super fight to me of the 118 pound division, Louis Neri versus Inouye. And then you got, you know, that, that seductiveness out there with Donaire versus Inouye. If both of them make it to the, um, um, finals of the world box of super series. And remember Donaire is very long in the tooth at this point in time in his career and fighting at that 118 pound division where he ain't fought in what I forgot how many fights, but it's over. It was over 10, maybe a dozen. I forgot exactly how many. And it's been multiple years, but you know, he had that win against um, um, Ryan Burnett, even if it was a little um, because Ryan Burnett blew his back, but still, nonetheless, you know, he's in the mix. So that's pretty much the 118 pound division right there. You know, you got Carlos Quadras, I forgot what he's doing. And remember, McRoy, McWilliams Arroyo had beat Carlos Quadras on Superfly. I was in a coma, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Anyway, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.